Hi, I'm Josh Cleaver of Argo Yachting, and today you join me on board a stunning Chris Craft Launch 28 GT. Starting in the bow area, everything already screams Chris Craft, from the embroidery of the name through to this navy contour stitching and detailing within the seats. You've got the stainless steel cup holders, plenty of handles for when you're underway. And it's the perfect space to sit back, engage the armrest, and take in the view while you're underway. When you come to the anchor locker, again, there's tons of familiar Chris Craft detailing from the stainless steel inlay within the teak, stainless steel cup holders again, and these brilliant pop-up cleats. You even have a shower now installed in this area, so perfect for cooling off on those hot days. If you open up the anchor locker, you can feel the quality and the weight behind this. A really easy area to use. You've got your safety clip, you've got controls both here and at the helm, so nice and easy to operate. And of course, your beautiful Chris Craft pendant flag. And as well as all these beautiful details, the Chris Craft 28 GT is also a really practical boat with tons of storage lockers. Hinged as well, so it's nice and easy to lift up, stash everything you need and put away. Now the GT range from Chris Craft offers some really dynamic spaces. Just like the area I'm stood right now, that can be totally infilled with another cushion and it turns your whole bow into a sunbathing area. There's also a gorgeous teak table that stows away quite neatly in one of the cockpit lockers and uh, can be installed here for dining. Now moving into the main cockpit area, you've got this fantastic stainless steel molded Chris Craft windscreen. And this can be locked whilst you're underway, keep it nice and secure. You also have a door, moves across and will stop the wind from blowing through. Keeps all your guests nice and sheltered whilst on board. Now, let's talk about this brilliant helm station. Chris Craft helms really have come on leaps and bounds in the last few years. You still get some of that classic Chris Craft detailing, such as the weighted Chris Craft emblem in the middle of the steering wheel. I mean, it really is incredible how every touch point on a Chris Craft feels so luxurious. Even this steering wheel with the mahogany inlaid against stainless steel is just an absolute joy to hold. These brilliant analog dials, which are an ode to the Chris Craft boats of old, but it's now all integrated with a Volvo Penta glass dash, which means every single function of the boat is available at your fingertips. For a 28 foot boat, this GT is really packed full of features. Above me, you've got what Chris Craft call their sports folding top. So with a press of a button, the whole canopy will fold flat to the dash, which is fantastic for storage. Now, something you might have noticed is that just below me is this little Sea Keeper emblem. You might be thinking for a boat of this size, how would you get a gyroscope on board? Well, actually, this 28 GT is fitted with the all-new Seakeeper ride systems. In fact, it's one of the first boats in Europe to do so. And I'm going to take you through exactly how that works on our sea trial a little later on. On the port side, just next to the helm station, you've got a really large day head on board, and that's great if you're going to be out for extended periods of time. If you look behind the helm station, you've got this fantastic seating area with inbuilt fridges, plenty of storage. Again, classic Chris Craft. You've got cup holders, fold down, stainless steel, really high quality. Everything just feels top notch on board this boat. Now, like I was saying earlier, these GT models are really about dynamic spaces. So as well as being able to dine within the main cockpit, you can also pop this headrest back and it instantly creates a really large sunbathing area at the aft of the boat. 
Now all the boats in the GT range that Chris Croft produced from the 25 to the 35 GT have these side entrance walkways. Again, you've got handles so it's nice and secure when coming on and off the vessel. You have this dive door, you pop that up, spins to the side, nice and out of the way. You've got a hatch down here with a ladder that folds into the water. And the reason I think this is so fantastic is from a safety point of view, being as far away from the engine as you can, even when it's switched off, for entering and exiting the boat is just top notch in my book. Now before we take her out for a spin, I just want to talk you through the swim platform area on this 28 GT because I really do think it's a well thought out design. You've got an additional swim ladder with a handle that comes up here for easy boarding. Underneath the chair, you've got an eyelet for towing, but you also have one on top of the sports arch. Now for any wakeboard or water ski enthusiast, you will know that a high up tow point will give you a much more enjoyable ride. If we take a look inside this hatch, you've got another freshwater shower, just like you do at the bow. You've got a USB charging point and a 12 volt socket if you're sun lounging here and you want to be charging your phone. And this is the perfect storage area for your shore power cable. Tucks away nice and neatly. Really, really well thought out feature. Now, let's get behind the helm and take her out. Now, as I mentioned earlier on in this video, this Chris Craft 28 GT is fitted with the all new Seakeeper Ride stabilization system. Now, this system works whilst you're underway and unlike other systems on the market, it actually controls all three movements of the boat. That's your pitch, your roll and your yaw in what they call their patented attitude control system. Now, there are plenty of videos that Seakeeper have produced which give you a really in-depth explanation as to how the ride system operates. But to give you the bullet points, you have two rotary blades that sit on the port and starboard of the aft of the vessel and a hundred times a second they adjust and pull the hull down into the water as you encounter chop. Now Chris Croft have told me that you could hit a boat wake at 45 degrees, normally an angle that would throw all of your guests right out of their seats and the boat will ride through it as if it was a Rolls Royce cruising down the street. Now alongside their amazing hulls, technology, looks, Chris Crafts are mostly associated with their incredible performance and this 28 GT is no exception. There are a variety of engine options you can get on board but this one has a 5.3 litre 350 horsepower V8 from Volvo Penta. And this is what it's capable of. It is genuinely delightful how easy this boat just hops onto the plane. I mean, it feels so nice. I barely have any pressure on the steering wheel whatsoever. And it's such a responsive vessel to drive. And all you want to do is misbehave or, you know, make the boat misbehave. And it almost doesn't matter what you do. I and mean, it, it will not do it with this system engaged. It's just beyond, it really is. So I'm coming to starboard right now probably about half lock. There is no chatter in the hull. There's no chance of the boat skipping out. It feels absolutely solid. I mean, this is a true pleasure to drive. And we can just keep essing. There's no water over the hull. I've picked up the speed. It's just gliding through this. And there's plenty of chop to be giving us a difficult ride. And it's handling it like an absolute breeze. Get back up now. 30, 38, we're coming up to 40 miles an hour. And I'm barely raising my voice. It's, it's incredible. And this is what you pay for with a Chris Craft. It's not just that performance, but it's that performance coupled with comfort and safety. None of your guests are going to feel unsafe or like you're misbehaving when in fact, I mean, you're really at the helm of a performance boat and you're giving it everything it's got. You know, the sun to my right, tranquil blue waters of the Balearic Islands. If you're looking at this video and you're thinking, do you know what? I'm interested in Chris Craft ownership or, or boat ownership in general, then please do gain contact. All the details for Argo Yachting and myself are below this video. 
And whether it's a Chris Craft, whether it's a Saxdorf, you name it, we can help you get on the water and enjoy a taste of this lifestyle.